All right. Pickle, on this, the weekend's birthday, it is time to celebrate Dumb Thursday. Texas Football Today is proud to present. Dumb Thursday. It's Dumb Thursday. You know, Texas Football Today. We ask a question and kick it around for a little bit. And today, we're talking about quarterbacks. So, obviously, on Sunday night, um, we talked a little bit about uh, us watching the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Um, where two Texas quarterbacks were going at it for the first time in Super Bowl history. Patrick Mahomes and Jalen Hurts. I thought, I don't know how much of the, um, I, I caught a couple of glimpses of this. But they were both pretty, um, I thought I thought it was very cool that both of them were were talking, like when they were asked about each other. Mm-hmm. Both of them kind of mentioned me like, he's a Texas guy, so you know he's he's great. Like they were taken up for each other yeah. in that regard. Like, ah, it's two Texas boys. That's how it should be. So yeah, fun. Patrick Mahomes even had a quote about Texas being like the quarterback factory. Absolutely. And so I thought that was cool. That like, yes, they're about to go out and play the biggest game of their lives, but they were both like, ah, man. Like, we're both from Texas, so we're pretty good, you know, stuff like that. Well, and I think Texans would rather play against Texans than play against some guy from Rhode Island, you know? like Yes, (laughs) absolutely. Um, And so, what I think is particularly interesting about this conversation is not that they're both from Texas, although that is, and Patrick Mahomes is now the first quarterback from Texas to win multiple Super Bowls. But that this is a relatively recent phenomenon. Um, because for the most part, Texas has not put out a ton of quarterbacks into these these high positions. Do we have the graphic that we had earlier last week? I we have say? this one. If uh, this is the one you're talking about, that's that's, that's one of them. It's fine. Um, but if you if you remember, the first quarterback from the state of Texas to play in a Super Bowl. Do you remember who it was? Mm-mm. Is Drew Brees. So we're talking like 2009. Uh, it took until 2009 to get a Texas quarterback in there. And one of the things that I think, I think that's rather remarkable considering when you take a look at, at, at how many players from, from the state of Texas are in the NFL, why did it take so long to get one into the Super Bowl? And what, what I think, I think there's been a real, if I may borrow a young person phrase. Oh, gosh. Ready? This always scares me when you do this. I think Texas quarterbacks have had a real glow up. All right. There recently. you go. He did it. He did that thing. And I'll tell you, and, and, and I'd like to discuss why. There was an article on ESPN. I'm looking at it right now. It's called, Where Do Quarterbacks Come From? Mm-hmm. Where do quarterbacks come from? And in this article, it was in 2020, I believe it was. Okay. They had a formula that put together like uh, they put together a formula that would uh, that that would kind of rank the quarterbacks against their expectations and and where they're from uh, and and basically those types of things essentially ranking the states as far as producing quarterbacks in the NFL are concerned. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to read this directly. Texas, the worst quarterback state. Doesn't seem right. Texas ranks last in ESPN's quarterback formula because of the expectations given the state's resources, basically because they're so big. Okay. The second most popular state, Texas also leads the country in a key formula component, Division I football pro- programs, with 21, uh, seven more than any other state. Texas surprisingly has no quarterbacks in the Hall of Fame, uh, and the collective approximate value of the state's quarterback is watered down because many are not key contributors. Its 62% start average ranked 15th among states with at least 500 games. And yet, Texas leads the U.S. in Super Bowl wins above expectation. So it's not that long ago that Texas was considered like, ah, uh, mm-hmm. not a quarterback state. And it's a little strange. Now, now part of it, so there's, there's the, uh, the the graphic we're talking about. Those, there's only seven quarterbacks from the state of Texas who have ever been there. The first one was in 2010. Mm-hmm. All seven have come in the last 13 years. And part of it, I think, there, I think there's twofold. One is that I think I think you have to give a lot of credit to the advent of the and the the kind of spread of the spread offense mm-hmm. that. Quarterbacks down here 
if you go back and, and watch football from the 80s and the 90s, it's a lot of run lot of the run damn the ball. ball. <laughs> a lot of run the damn ball, right? It's a lot of run the damn ball. I mean, there's a reason um, that when you, that when you take a look at like career pa- like the 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 single season passing yards records, mm-hmm. like Todd Dodge was the first to throw for more than three thousand yards. The first throw for more than 3,000 yards didn't happen until 1980. Right. I was just fixing to say, and we credit, like, obviously we credit the air raid coming into the state and really the entire nation through the Mike Leach train. And it's like, okay, well, all of these guys are still really, I mean, maybe take Drew B- Brees and maybe Nick Foles out of it. The rest of those guys are young. Yes. Like, they're they're after that time. So, so in 1980, Todd Dodge set a state record uh, by throwing for 3,135 yards at Port Arthur. Like, just lighten the world on fire. Mm-hmm. Since then, since then, Pickle, 523 people have passed him. I was fixing to say, like... 523. 3,000 yards as a quarterback is still really good. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. But we don't look at that and go, oh, wow. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. Like, he had the year that we thought he was going to yeah, have. Yeah, you know? like... I don't know. There, like, there's guys on here that you're like, yeah, he was a he was a he was a good quarterback, mm-hmm. right? Uh, okay, perfect example. Uh, Jet Huff mm-hmm. at College Station in 2021 yep. threw for thir- uh, 3157, more than Todd Dodge, and yet I think that as that season went on, you kind of realized the balance that that offense really had. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, they were asking him to throw the ball, but they had Marquise Collins and they were able to run the ball. Right. I was thinking we talked about their run game more than we talked about the pass game, so the and advent, that was with 3,000 yards. The evidence of, of of the spread offense, I think, is really important. The other important factor here, I think, is seven on seven. Mm-hmm. Now those go hand in hand, but I think seven on seven and the development of the passing league in the state of Texas has helped to make this a quarterback haven. Yeah, I mean, it gives you more practice. That's extra practice that other people aren't getting in yes. in a real competitive manner. Yes. That would be yes. I think that you know there there's there's the the comment I think it was a Malcolm Gladwell. Uh, article or rather book about the 10,000 hour rule or whatever oh, yeah. where you know if you've spent 10,000 it takes 10,000 hours working on something to become an expert mm-hmm. I also think and this is me and again it's dumb Thursday so I can just let it rip I also wonder if our investment in football as a high school football community which I think has certainly taken off in the past few in the past let's say 25 years. Yeah. Right? I would say that, big, yeah. Even more so now. Now there's more neutral fans than there have ever been. And I wonder if that investment and in making it a priority has allowed these quarterbacks to go out there and get those hours and find those hours in an earlier way. Yeah. And so, so now, I don't think there's any doubt right now when you take a look at who the best quarterback, who, who the, best quarterback in the, in, in, in the world is, mm-hmm. it's Patrick Mahomes. You take a look at who j- he just beat in the Super Bowl. You take a look at who won the Super Bowl last year, Matthew Stafford, mm-hmm. right? Then you take a look at the recruiting. Yep. Texas put out more, signed more FBS quarterbacks last year than any other state. More than 17% of the FBS quarterbacks who were signed in the class of 2022 mm-hmm. were from Texas. And so... Your deal, like, like I think I do not think that's an accident. I think that for a while, people would come to Texas to get their offensive linemen, their running backs, their running backs, and their defensive backs because that's really where Texas has made their hay. Mm-hmm. Linebackers to a certain extent, as well, but as well, but that's really where they came. They that came, was certain schools more they than came for, not. They came for running backs, offensive linemen, defensive backs, and sometimes linebackers. Now, a you can get anything you want here, mm-hmm. and b. I think we've done a better job of cultivating a culture within Texas high school football that is quarterback forward. Because it used to be, I know that like California has always been like the dominant force in quarterback. Mm. That's and why then, the Elite Eleven camp is held out there. And then there's the, <laughs> there's there's an area in western in western Pennsylvania that's known as mm-hmm. like the cradle of quarterbacks, right, where a lot of those quarterbacks came from. Mm-hmm. I think, and so a lot of it, I think, is culture of like we develop quarterbacks here. Mm-hmm. I think over the last twenty years. 20, call, let's call it 25 years, mm-hmm. 1998. I think we have done a better job in the state of Texas of creating a culture that is conducive to, to um, 
to developing quarterbacks. Well, and you know what's funny, if you want to take it in, uh, even a step further, is obviously talking about Texas high school football producing all of them, yes, but then you've even seen an influx of college programs if there are these one or two shining star quarterbacks from other portions of the state or from other portions of the nation like arch manning they're bringing them into texas to play college football well and i think that i think so it's an interesting case of like is is the dog wagging the tail of tail wagging the dog because i i do not think it is an accident that the offenses that are run at the college level here Mm mm-hmm for the most part, utilize all like utilize the the, the skill the talent that they're able to acquire from within the, the, the state's borders, mm-hmm. right? SMU, if SMU wanted to, they could go out there and they could run the slot team. Yeah, if they wanted to. But I also think that Rhett Lashley and Sonny Dykes before him and Chad Morris before him and uh, and and June Jones before him. I think they understood. Let's look around us. What do we have? Mm-hmm. We got quarterbacks. We got receivers. That's so what it's Texas has. Time to throw the receivers. damn ball. <laughs> Let's let it rip. Yep. And so I do think that there's there. It's it's a it's a mutually beneficial situation mm-hmm. wherein Texas high school football puts out these these outstanding players, and Texas uh, Texas colleges are specifically yeah. now built offensively to utilize them. Best. Yeah, it's push and pull. It's not exactly. one way or the other. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so there it is. I like uh, it. Texas became the quarterback capital That seems capital like smart Thursday to me, but... Texas became the quarterback capital of the world, and I think it's happened relatively f- relatively recently. And it's a pretty, pretty amazing phenomenon. Mm-hmm. Anyway, there's Dumb Thursday. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.